What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. And I just wanted to jump on here real quick as promised and give you guys an update on this Total Archery Challenge arrow build. Uh, I posted that video last week. If you guys are interested in this arrow build and what I used, what the weight is, all that stuff, you can go ahead and check out that video. Uh, but in that video, I promised to give you guys an update on just how far I was able to get on my sight tape. Now, last week I did have the opportunity to go to my buddy Justin's. I did sight this thing in. I did settle on a sight tape. Uh, but keep in mind, it was a little windy out. So while we were shooting, I was bouncing between calibration number 45 and calibration number 46 on the calibration tapes. Um, I landed on 45, but I do think that my sight tape is probably off a yard or two. So I will have to verify that as we get a little bit closer to tack, I probably will make a switch over to either calibration number 46 or 47, uh, but we'll settle on that uh, a little bit later. Now, um, like I said, as far as the distance or the clearance that I'm getting, I'm getting clearance all the way out to 120 yards. It is close. Um, I would probably feel a little bit more comfortable shooting 118, 119, definitely no vein contact on the bottom of that scope housing. So I am very close to what I wanted to achieve with this arrow build and with this sight setup. So overall, I am super happy. Now, um, since posting that video, I did get a bunch of questions about my sight setup. So I also wanna address that. Um, I am running the HHA Rise Tetra Max. That, that is the one that gives you the ability to swap out the roller wheels. And I did pair it with the UltraView scope. I am running their smaller scope housing. Uh, but what a lot of people are asking me about is these rings that is positioned on the front here. Now, um, these rings, they're called bonus rings and Chase over at Sunrise Archery told me about those. Um, I placed an order, got those in. And the reason that I added that to that scope housing is because this is my hunting bow and I run a 3 16 peep when I hunt with my black gold dual track. Now, if you switch over to a UV scope, the smaller one, um, that scope housing is significantly smaller than you know your standard hunting sites that are available. So you will have to change your peep size. Now there's a couple different workarounds. You could go with the specialty archery peep um, or the Hamski Insight peep that has uh, changeable apertures. So you can change the aperture size to match that scope housing without having to pull the entire peep out. Uh, but being that this bow is so dialed in right now, I didn't want to change that peep. So the workaround that Chase and I discussed was just adding these bonus rings. You can buy these bonus rings. They're like 10 bucks and they just go over the scope, the scope housing. They offer a mini, which I'm running on the UV scope, which is good for 27 millimeters all the way up to a 31 millimeter scope housing. And then they do offer bigger ones. Um, I did stack two of them on here and that was perfect to reduce that amount of light that I was seeing around that scope housing without having having to change the peep. So that's why I ran that. Um, again, the whole, the whole purpose was just to avoid having to change out my peep because like I said, this bow is dialed in, this bow is shooting very good and I'm very comfortable with it. And I just did not want to make that change. Later down the road next year, um, after hunting season, I probably will play around with a specialty archery peep uh, with the replaceable apertures. So when I am switching, I won't have to run those rings because if I did not have those rings on, I probably would get clearance out to 125, um, no issue, because there is about a half inch hanging off the bottom of the site housing because I did stack two of those rings on there. Now the next video that I wanna post, and again, if you guys aren't following the channel, make sure you subscribe, um, is I just wanna verify how accurate these site tapes are through HHA when you start getting out to those longer distances. When I did my initial HHA review, um, I stated in there, and this is coming directly from HHA, is there they're saying that these are the most accurate sight tapes that they've produced, that they've spent years developing these to ensure that they are precise. Uh, but we're going to put that to the test. I want to see just how close they are at 120 yards um, or, you know, the farthest distance that I can get with still main, maintaining clearance. So again, that video will come a little bit later. I'm not going to post that one next week, but it is one that I will start working on. I got to find a spot where I'm able to shoot that type of distance to verify that accuracy of that site tape. But that's it for this video. If you guys live in the Southeastern Michigan area, 
go over to Sunrise Archery. They can help you build super light arrows, specifically for tack to get those longer sight tapes. They do carry the UV scopes in stock. They do carry the HHA rise in stock. And obviously they got a ton of archery products that they can hook you guys up with. Those guys are extremely knowledgeable, extremely helpful. So make sure you guys go over there and support your local bow shop. If you guys have any other questions, you can reach out to me directly uh, through Instagram or through the comments. And if you guys have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Your guys' support greatly helps us out. And then make sure you guys check out some of the merch we got over at michiganambushoutdoors.com. Uh, but that's it. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you guys on the next one. Money. 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 <laughs> you can tell by the sound of the bag.